Hi guys, welcome to my channel once again. Today's reading is a very interesting one because we're going to have a look at your crush. I'm going to read their energy, I'm going to do a personality analysis and then I will ask if you can trust this person eh, or <laughs> if you should uh, trust them. Alright, so I hope I don't offend anybody. Uh, that's the message I had from Spirit to do this reading. So choose your pile guys, 1, 2, 3 as usual, which I will insert right now and I'm going for pile number 1. Hi pile 1, welcome to your reading. If you chose this sticker with this man with the glasses, this reading is for you. So we're going to find out about your crush. I'm going to see a little bit into their personality character traits, how they are as a person and if you can uh, give your trust to this person or you should uh, trash this person <laughs> in a way. So let's see if they are uh, trustworthy, if you can trust them or not. So uh, let me shuffle and see you in a bit. Okay, pile number one, let's see who is this person, if they are trustworthy or not, what kind of person is this exactly. Okay, so what I see here is uh, something that I like, I think I like this person, I will tell you right away. I feel like this person has some uh, complexities in their personality or character or maybe you don't know this person very well because I feel you might be anxious. We have here some cards indicating that we have eight of swords so you might, know, might not know this person very well. So you're not sure if this person is uh, trustworthy, perhaps that's why you're here, I suppose. Okay, so I will uh, ease your um, stress. <laughs> We have here the card, the safe place for you to go with number four. We got also these cards, very interesting cards for you. So this person generally is safe, I feel, but uh, I understand why you might not feel this way. I will explain what I mean here. Yes, this person I feel is a good person at heart. They have good intentions, they have good energy, they have very, very healing energy as well, which I didn't expect from the um, thumbnail, from this sticker, from their image, because this person also is wearing these glasses, right? So they might appear even intimidating because this person might be attractive, right? We have here the lovers, and um, usually we think of very attractive people as maybe stuck up or maybe uh, too preoccupied with themselves, I would say. But I feel in this case this person is a little bit different for some reason. So let's see why. Okay, first cards here we have Six of Swords. So this indicates that this person is not into drama. They mind their own business. When they have drama in their life they live. They don't really like to engage in uh, dramatic situations, in uh, arguments and stuff like that. This person is very, very peaceful. And this person might be a loner. We also have the Hermit card over here. They might be a Virgo or another Earth signs because uh, we have here Knight of Pentacles as well and the Eight of Pentacles. So they might be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And we also have here the Lovers with Gemini and Temperance as a Fire sign with the Sagittarius. So this person I feel is very, very calm, very serene. They might be introvert, they might be a loner even, or maybe they are single for a long time. And this person really appreciates their um, peacefulness, 
they want to have peace of mind and uh, they mind their own business. They don't really engage with people that uh, love the attention or love drama or love to, you know, prove something. So that's why we have here six of swords. We also have here, guys, four of swords. So this person uh, really likes to spend uh, time alone. They might be even be a dreamer. Right, they might be someone even romantic at heart. I feel like this person is a very good person, and like the cards indicate here, a safe place for you to go. Right, interesting. I also get that their eyes are very sincere, although the thumbnail is this person wearing glasses. But if you look into their eyes, I feel like uh, they have very sincere eyes, like you can see that this person has good soul. Very interesting. They might have big eyes, for some of you guys, something very mysterious about their eyes I'm getting. And uh, their energy is uh, so sweet I'm getting. It's because they have the temperance energy, very healing. So this person I feel is very picky, maybe that's why they're uh, single for a long time or for some time already. Uh, this person is not a player, I don't see that in the cards. We have here Knight of Pentacles. This person might even be young, either young age-wise or young at heart. Uh, I'm also getting cancer vibes, so maybe this person likes a lot to spend time alone and they are very, very picky with their romantic partners. So Knight of Pentacles here is saying that this person is reliable, they are dependable, faithful, loyal. So this is like a, the prototype for a boyfriend, right? And they are also attractive. So what else do you want, guys? I don't know. If they also like you, then uh, this is a very good uh, pile to pick here. This person might have longer hair for some, or very thick eyebrows, maybe they are Asian, it could be for some. And this person um, is very protective of themselves, like protective of their heart. Maybe themselves don't trust people as easily. Because they feel it takes a long time for them to get into a relationship, which is a very good sign to me. For some, you might know this person from your workplace. You have here Eight of Pentacles, but uh, nevertheless, this person, I feel, has worked or is working on their craft. Maybe they're a student, maybe... They are doing their master or maybe they are uh, working at their skills, at their job. Again, this is a card of a person enjoying what they are doing and minding their own business. That's what I'm getting here. So they are not into this uh, you know, social media culture where everybody is trying to get attention onto their bodies, onto you know, their popularity and stuff like that. This person is not like that. They are more low profile. And they appreciate um, the beauty of things. Like this person might be artistic at heart. Maybe they have like a very sweet soul, I guess. Very kind soul here. They might even be an old soul, the hermit. But um, they might be a young person, right? Age-wise. So very, very interesting. And I really love uh, their energy. And we also have Seven of Pentacles, which again indicates that this person is very calm, very patient. They take their time to nurture something, either that is their job, or friendships, or family, or uh, relationships. They are not rushing. They are very confident, but in a quiet way, right? That's how I feel. So let's see what's more. We have first card here, Purification. Yes, definitely, they are pure at heart. That's what I told you, the temperance, the tranquility. This person is calm. They also give this energy to others, like they, they can calm others. So this person might be a healer, but they don't even know it, you know. I'm getting Gemini energy. We also have success. So they value success, they value working hard. This person might be a hard worker. Uh, they value putting the work into something. Because they don't believe that something will magically, you know, ignite one day. This person is very stable. Maybe they have Capricorn placements. 
because I'm getting that, that they put a lot of work into something. And uh, they might be successful because of that already, if they are older, perhaps. We have uh, vitality, desire and luck. So this person with vitality, they might be trained, they might be very good looking, like I said. So when you see this person, you might think, ah, this, this person, sorry, is a player. I'm also getting here the Taurus sign, so they might like... Um, eating good food or maybe they're very sensual like they like uh, massages or giving massages so if you're going to be their girlfriend I like you <laughs> so because they love that they love to take care of people also wow so you guys uh, wink wink here I don't know fingers crossed with this person I hope everything works out for you and this person is also very good in bed we have vitality and desire and this fix symbol of fertility here with a snake sensuality Taurus you know where this is going right desire yes um, very good stamina also I'm getting here so again wink wink guys we have uh, good luck number 31 is significant okay so like I said maybe if you get together you'll be very lucky we have Capricorn and we also have the lemon with purification so their energy is very pure very good for you also okay let's see what's more here we do have these cards character traits we have a calendula of vitality radiance calendula is also bringing uh, good luck so we have good luck twice so this person is a very good uh, energy in your life Vitality again, you see. Maybe they value health. Maybe they are very healthy. They might be into eating healthy also. Building their body. Maybe they go to the gym. Okay, let's see. We have monk. Monk's hood. Mystery and protection. So this person, like I said, might be into isolating themselves sometimes with a hermit. Spend time alone. Alone and they feel... This might come off as mysterious, that's why I don't even know who this person is, uh, if they're a player, what's their intention, and who are they, actually. And this is because they won't protect their energy, they might be an introvert, so they might be doing that uh, without even thinking that they won't protect my energy, they just do it because they feel more comfortable and safer and, uh, you know, feeling more like themselves. Okay, guys, we have boldness, endurance. Wow, I didn't even see. <laughs> endurance is like uh, what I said with the stamina. Interesting messages here. So this person, although they are an introvert and into themselves, they are very stable with the Knight of Pentacles and they don't shy away from um, trying things, right? When they have to, they, they are going to be bold. It's like this person has this... Um, Divine masculine energy already, although they might be young here. I'm saying young, some of them are young, some of them are older. But I'm getting mostly young, like in their 30s or younger. But maybe they have an old soul here. That's what I'm getting. Okay, guys. Then we have again tranquility, serenity. <laughs> yes, another confirmation here with the lavender peacefulness they really really appreciate their peace of mind and we have to live with devotion and charm so this person is very charming nevertheless even though they are more on the quiet side low profile but they are very charming and they attract people they don't have um, you know a problem with that and with the devotion it's like what they said that they put a lot of work into something they devote themselves to something if they get into something, this could be anything. It could even mean their appearance, it could be their family, their friends, their... It says here, siblings, younger friends, responsibility, take care of yourself. So, I feel this person likes uh, to take care of other people. They might have uh, relationships, good relationships with their family, with their siblings. 
and they're very caring some of them might have a pet that they take care of here and getting so when they get into something they get devoted because they love to I feel this person is a giver and they love to give to people they make to make feel people loved so that's why I said guys this person might be a healer and uh, they might not even know it with the temperance okay so let's uh, see now the last question I asked spirit tell me if you can trust this person I can tell you already that you can from this energy but we have here confirmation so we got temperance as an answer it's a yes and then we have eight of swords and the lovers so eight of swords indicates that uh, you don't know this person that well and you have this dilemma if you should trust them or not but the answer is yes uh, of course don't uh, you know fall into something immediately and give yourself like okay take me <laughs> i'm yours uh, if this person comes through and uh, they ask you out that's not what i'm saying here i'm saying that this is a good person and you can um, go out and uh, get to know them more and that's the message here and the lover's card is uh, saying here guys that you might be a very good match also with this person i feel like you are also very kind-hearted so you would be energetically also very good match so let's see we have this card the safe place for you to go but before that i drew these cards and it says you are unlike anyone else your contradictions and complexities are interesting so this is this person number 35 they might be around 35 years old so like i said this person guys might confuse you because they have this mystery and because you don't know them and they are attractive you might not know what to believe so they might have some um, opposing sides or contradictions or very complex i don't think that this person is so complex because we have here the knight of pentacles so they're very stable i'm not uh, sensing that they're a player not at all but you might uh, perceive them as complex because you don't know a lot about them right so you might really project or fantasize things that are not even there and then we have here a twist in the tail right the unexpected the change you did not see coming and we have this white so you might not have expected that this person is so pure that this person is good that they have good energy here and the last card this is again a yes for you guys it says a safe place to go again so i would say if you can trust or trust definitely you can trust this person as the beginning as a, you know a start start point all this reading wants to say guys that this person is a good person and that they are not a player but uh, you have to see how it goes between you okay pile one i loved it this is very nice for you so good luck with this person go ahead go out have drinks <laughs> have fun okay but safely okay enough said so if you like this reading you can give it a like you can uh, reach out to me for a personal reading i do have the links in the description box in the comment section so thanks so much guys and i'll see you next time bye bye hello pal number two welcome to your reading if you chose this man over here this reading is for you so let's see they're going to have a peek into your crush's energy let's see if uh, they're a good guy or a bad guy quote unquote let's find out together and let's uh, read their energy okay so let's start guys okay pile number two let's see what's going on with this person we have a lot of juice here <laughs> so this person is a little bit tricky i feel 
because they tried to fool me. Hmm. But I'm not easily fooled, I have to tell you that, guys. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about this person. I was fooled because first card we have here the justice. Almost fooled because I'm never fooled, okay? Okay, so we have first card the justice and then the agreement. So with the justice card, I first thought maybe this person, you know, is reliable. Maybe they are very fair, you know, trustworthy. But then I saw some other cards which uh, depict something else. I will explain what I say. So first of all, number 24 might be significant. Maybe you are 24 or they are. For some of you, I'm getting, uh, you might have an um, age gap with this person. Maybe they are older, 36, I'm getting something like that. And uh, for some of you guys, there is a triangle here, maybe third party situation, just for some. So we have agreement with justice, so I feel this person might be a karmic of yours. You were meant to meet this person and this uh, was like a soul contract here. You couldn't escape it and the attraction I feel is very strong with this person. We have the devil, we have abundance, we have queen of wands. And I asked Spirit to tell me what uh, are these, what are these person's intentions in general, what they want, and they got the Knight of Wands. So this person is very alluring with the devil, even devilish, they might be very popular with the ladies or uh, otherwise with gentlemen, whatever you guys are into, right? They might be very popular. This person, I feel, is very self-pleased with themselves. They like themselves. They like uh, how they look. And we also got here the card Narcissus. Self-love and rebirth. So, we also have this card over here. With this woman, which looks very self-pleased. When I say self-pleased, means that uh, they admire themselves here. Like uh, narcissistic behavior, somehow. They like to look at themselves in the mirror because this reminds me of the narcissist story. If you don't know about it, you can look it up if you would like to. But narcissist was someone that uh, fell in love with their own uh, reflection in a pond or a river that they saw for the first time and they admired so much themselves. They thought they, they were so beautiful that they fell in love with themselves. And uh, that's how the... Um, mythology of the Narcissus came up, right, and emerged here. So this reminds me of that, and it says here also, you've attracted wonderful news, so this person is very attractive, they attract a lot of people. This person is very, very sexual, I have to tell you. They like to get a lot of attention, and they do. We have six of ones here. Like I said, they might be very popular, they might have a reputation, and their reputation might precede them, so maybe their reputation is not so good, I have to say, because of the devil next to it and the queen of wands. So, it looks like this person might be even an F-boy, if you know what I mean, wink wink. Player, uh, very preoccupied with themselves, with their appearance, they might go to the gym, they might be into strength training, martial arts, horse riding <laughs> for some, or maybe this is just them uh, riding on their high horse, I don't know, could be. And this person is a little bit smug, if you can see this person look at their face, it's like, mm -hmm, I got it, so <laughs> it's a little bit funny to me. Yeah, so this person expects a lot of attention from people, they feed from the attention, that's why we have here the narcissist card, so maybe this person has narcissistic tendencies, if not a full-blown narcissist, right? And uh, a lot of people fall into their trap. We have six of ones, we have victory, this person might be also very successful, maybe they're very good at their job, successful at their job, maybe for some this person might be even a lawyer attorney, someone uh, dealing with uh, legalities, right? So maybe they are a very high profile person for some of you guys and also with the devil this person might be financially secure because uh, we have the abundance card as well. Yes, this person is a little bit mysterious though because we have the moon. But definitely this person is very, very attractive. They might be a Capricorn or a Libra or a Fire sign. I'm getting a Sagittarius. 
they love the attention. They might be 44 years old for some of you. And they think very highly of themselves. I'm getting this person has worked a lot to get this um, abundance that they have, this uh, you know financial abundance. I'm also getting this person is very good in bed because uh, the devil with the abundance here. It tells me that uh, they're very experienced. The grapes are also a sign of fertility, so they know what they're doing in bed. And they get this person had a lot of uh, sexual partners. And I'm also getting that this person is feeding off of other people's energy, unfortunately. So they might even be energy vampires here. Sexually, sexually feeding from people's energy. It's like this person is never satisfied with one person. They need more. More and more energy, more and more experiences sexually. Because this person is lacking something inside. And if you guys don't resonate with these messages, if something tells you in your gut that this is not your person, please don't watch this pile, okay? This is not uh, for you to get angry with me or to take uh, negative energy onto you. Or messages that are not meant for you, okay? But if you feel like this resonates with this person and you feel it and you know it, internally that they might be like that you can keep watching because we're, we're going to see later on if you can uh, trust although it's already evident i think <laughs> so why you cannot trust this person we have more information here okay so we have queen of wands and the purification so maybe this person because of their energy they attract um, people that are purer than them because they need this they need this light in their life from other people right so they attract pure people, they might be attracting uh, empaths, light workers, like people with very pure energy, with a pure soul and heart. So guys, be careful. We have the moon, so this person is not uh, what they show to you. This is a card of mystery, deception sometimes. And uh, we have the strength card over here. So this means that this person is very alluring. You cannot uh, resist them, they are very attractive. And this mystery that they have, they are even more, uh, you know, uh, trapping you even more into their web. And here we do have also the black cat. And you heard also the car outside going fast. So that was a message for you. <laughs> that this person, uh, you know, is going full speed. I don't know where they're going, but they are going. What I mean is that this person might be very impulsive, they might be here all this passion and sexual energy. Be operating from lower chakras with the lower energies, okay? So we do have the black cat, lost magic, atonement, rebalance. Yes, this person definitely has a dark side here, narcissistic side. Lower vibrations. Okay, guys, and this person has the capacity to hurt people around them. They might even hurt people um, unwillingly. What I mean is that this person doesn't really care about other people's feelings. They are just how they are and that's how they operate. They care about themselves. They care about uh, being fit. They care about being attractive, presenting themselves in the best way, but they don't care about other people's feelings. This is not an angel here, okay? And because they don't care, they don't consider other people's feelings. Maybe because they don't understand. Because a narcissist cannot understand empathy. So definitely this person has this dark side. And here we have this person being so in love with themselves. <laughs> definitely narcissistic uh, traits this person has. Alright, so let's see what's more. I already explained this one. We have hospitality and happiness. So this person might be a very good uh, covert narcissist. They, may, uh, they might appear very friendly, right? Even loving, even trying to, you know, deceive people, to deceive people that they care, that they're loving, that they want to hear at your problems, to listen to you, to help you and stuff like that. But inside, it's another story. And we have here the forget-me-not flower, <laughs> eternal memory fidelity. So this person uh, is unforgettable, very, very desirable, very tempting. And uh, you might be thinking about them all the time. 
They're very captivating. And it says here fidelity. <clears throat> I have not on fidelity. This person is not faithful at all. But they will present to people that they're um, this pure person because we have these two flowers. It says harmony, grace, and grace again. With lily, which is a very pure flower, right? S uh, symbolizing purity. So this is what they show to people. That they are very balanced, graceful, and a good person, even innocent, going about their job. Maybe this person is even a colleague of yours. And they look um, like a normal person, even very friendly, I would say. But this is just a mask, right? This is a mask that they have to put. It's like a sociopathic trait here, I get, that this person has. And why do I say all of these things? Why? Why do I say this negative? Because I ask Spirit if you can trust this person, okay? And accept the narcissist card. We do have this, we have a positive uplifting new friends, first card. And then we got this one. It says, endless regret, obsessive grief, replaying the past, negative nostalgia. Number 36, I told you before. This is significant. Okay, so first of all, this uh, person might make you believe that they are very loyal, like I said here, and that they are a person uh, for stability even, or commit relationship for marriage, right? You might even go out, this person might even uh, sweep you off your feet with eight of wands. This is what they can do. Normally, I'm not saying that they will date you, but um, if you go more into it, that's how the story will unfold. That's the message here. So this person, guys, I feel uh, they pay attention because of their sociopathic traits. They pay attention to how people operate because uh, they need to know how to treat them, to put this mask, the proper mask on, right, so that people can trust them. So this person might even have a lot of friends, they might um, have a lot of people that like them, they might have, uh, you know, a big uh, circle around them, so you might, they might make you feel like you belong to their cer circle, to their family, with their friends, going out, celebrating with them, including you. And this person might be love bombing people with the eight of wands, things might too go too fast like it's not normal for somebody if you just met someone to tell you in one week that they want to have a relationship with you or they want to even marry you so this person might have this type of uh, tendencies these patterns right with the ten of cups uh, promising to people relationships promising them the happily ever after and then uh, you guys might be hooked in the beginning we have positive uplifting new friends right so you might feel like, wow, this person really is feeling me, they understand me, they know exactly what I want, they see me, the real me. Like, uh, you might be craving for this, to get seen by people, and that's normal. Because to be loved is to be seen, right? So everybody, including me, wants that, to be seen by people. And this person is very good at that, making people to believe that, that uh, people are seen by them. And then after that, we have here this uh, card of grieving, loss, disappointment. Wow, an ending sadness of looking back. So this person, if you get trapped into their um, web here, which is very magnetic and very strong, uh, you will have a lot of regrets. First of all, this person, guys, will suck out your energy, because like I said, this person might be energy vampire here. And you will be left uh, even sick, physically, I mean. Not only mentally, but also physically. So this person is very powerful and I don't suggest, I would be very, very careful with this person. Because they will leave you with regrets, a lot of grief and the negativity. Wow, even depression. So, uh, the answer is, trust or trash, I would trash. I would trust this person. At least I would not really involve myself romantically. If you want to go out and have fun, not sexually, I mean, I don't know, in a friend group or something like that, that's something completely different. But uh, giving yourself to this uh, type of people, giving your energy, you know, 
your light to such people this is like a disaster here so you guys be careful okay if you made it so far do this reading congratulations i don't know what to say i mean you are meant to hear this message i guess and i hope uh, it helps you because i would like to help you also okay guys so that's what i see for you for pile number two let me know in the comments if you want about this person and be careful please okay uh, if you resonate you can like the video you can subscribe to my channel you can also reach out to me guys for personal reading if you would like to i do offer 20 euro readings for more information for you okay thank you so much guys and have a nice day bye bye hi guys pile number three welcome to your reading if you chose the sticker with this man this reading is for you let's see what about your crush um, the piles before were very interesting with a lot of info and details i love them so let's see what about your person your crush the person in your mind i will do a little bit of personality analysis some character traits how they are as a person and then i will ask if you can trust this person or not so let's go into it I will draw the cards and I will see you in a bit. All right, pile number three, very interesting energy. It's completely different from the other piles. The thing is that I don't know, guys, if you're asking about exes here, <laughs> please don't do that. We are asking about crashes, okay, not exes or people from the past, because I can sense here that some of you did that, and that's why we have this energy. Uh, maybe you're asking about your ex, if you can trust them again, and stuff like that, but this is not such reading so it is what it is i got this energy so i will explain what i mean this is not for everybody of course that you don't have to have broken up it might mean that maybe this person broke up recently or you broke up and uh, you cannot really trust easily i mostly feel like this person is the one that uh, might be hurt or maybe they broke up recently and they cannot really trust or maybe they are not very open-hearted right now so why I'm saying that? Because we have this person with the moon, with their back turned, right? We have eight of swords, king of swords. Hmm. Okay, so this person is having a hard time emotionally. I'm not sure if this is like uh, something uh, constant in their life. It could be. Maybe if this person has some uh, struggles, it could be mentally, it could be that they have depression or anxiety or stuff like that or it could be that this person because of past trauma here or past hurt they are not into this space right now to open up emotionally um, I feel like the king of swords they are very closed to everyone not only to you but to everyone you see how much darkness we have here all these cards have dark colors here and that's crazy you see we only have these which talk about the heart and they will explain but the rest is darkness this person is very defensive nine of wands this person might be a loner either they are a loner or they are single for a long time with the hermit card so this person might be air sign i might be a gemini libra aquarius or Virgo or Aquarius what else we also have Sagittarius with Temperance and the Taurus here with Hierophant so this person is having a hard time emotionally for some reason and they don't trust people they have a lot of internal issues that they have to deal with 
they might have fears about relationships they don't trust people they might be having emotional turmoil inside I'm also getting something here this person might be even sick right now either emotionally or mentally or physically even because this person is very pale so I'm not sure why I get these messages like this person is not doing well that you're asking about right now they feel very weak, they feel trapped, they feel um, unable to do the things that they want in their life it's like something is keeping them stuck where they are if you're asking about a married person because it could be with a hierophant then this person is trying to maintain uh, boundaries with you or with anybody else because uh, it's not right for them guys to you know go out of their marriage and do stuff so from this point of view if this person is married they can see that they are very defensive and very guarded very closed off to everybody and to everything around them right so this person is trying to do the right thing in this case with the temperance right to be very balanced to be a good person they choose a peace of mind they choose calmness they might be very calm this person might be very knowledgeable with the hierophant and the um, hermit they might have extreme knowledge or this person is older some of you might have a huge age gap here I'm getting 10 years, 16 years for some this person might be even your professor or someone higher than you in authority maybe your lawyer, the king of swords even accountant but not so much more on the legal side okay so what else this person prefers their peace but uh, it's not coming from a good place here unless they're married but it's coming from a wounded place this person is wounded they need to heal you see we have already two cards speaking about healing the star card nine of wands and what else here yes this person is wounded and temperance they need to heal their heart they might be tired of relationships they might be tired of getting hurt we have the two of cups so this pertains to relationships and feeling if this person is married then uh, with the knight of cups and the two of cups they might be attracted to you although this is not the reading today about their feelings but they can see that otherwise this person is a good person at heart they have a good heart they might be romantic but they don't give their heart to everybody like this person is very eclectic they are very very skeptical when it comes to love um, almost cold I would say like this person needs a lot of time to be with someone in company of someone in order to open up which is uh, good on the one side but it's also nerve wracking sometimes because if this person is not healed and they have this uh, trauma from past relationships even childhood trauma or something like that then I understand it might be difficult even with a star card this person is turned with their back so they are not in the mood right now for, rela <laughs> for relationships I'm so sorry but uh, this person looks like a good person at heart I have to say so if this person heals maybe you can ask again next readings right so i feel this person has both light but mostly darkness right now and i'm saying they have both because we have these cards here this person when they are good mentally you know well and healed and um, in their best place emotionally they have vitality they might be good and bad experienced i'm getting because i'm getting this is an older person and duality they have both light and dark this person is not uh, you will not get bored with this person if you get uh, together I mean because this person might be very mysterious here with the moon and the eight of swords this person might be very confusing also so I don't know if you like that because duality is not always a good thing in my opinion only when we are healed then yes and the divine masculine or divine feminine yes i can say it's a good thing but uh, when it's coming from this place here 
This person has trust issues, first of all. They have uh, trauma, they have hurt. This person is very, very skeptical towards people for some reason. They, maybe this person is divorced and they don't want to get married again. And they just keep uh, people at arm's length, you know. Because we have here, you see, memory and trust. So they have some bad memories here. They cannot trust people. I see Leo sign. Yes, this person has resentment about something and uh, trust issues, huge trust issues. Towards people, I don't recommend guys to get involved with people that have huge trust issues because I understand. I, <laughs> maybe it sounds hypocritical because you guys were asking this uh, reading today if you can trust this person, right? But it's another thing to give to people chances, okay, to prove themselves and to, you know, get to know them. And another thing to be like completely cold and closed off from the beginning, that's not, that's not healthy. And uh, if someone is um, guarded, if both people are guarded, then that's not really helpful. How are they going to come together, you know what I mean? So we have wisdom, definitely this person is older. But uh, they're not very wise right now, they're wounded. Wounded masculine, I guess. Yeah. Transition, number 11, might be significant. Some of you guys, uh, this person might be Cancer, might be Twin Flame. Might be an earth sign as well. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And we have the moon here, the moon again, a lot of moons. So this person is really having a hard time emotionally, hard time to open up. Transition period, maybe this person uh, has broken up recently and they need time to heal. Grounding. I feel like this person is too much too much grounded, they need a little bit of fire, a little bit of passion. But of course, if they are hurt, I can understand. I'm not mocking. But uh, yes, <laughs> I don't know guys. If this person didn't break up, then this person, I feel, uh, might be even cynical here. Like they don't trust anybody. And they don't want to even give chances to people. So we have here the, these flowers, Vibrancy, Perseverance, Hibiscus with Passion, Inspiration. This is their healed uh, side, okay? Healed self. When they are healed, they have these traits. They might even, you know, be very charming, passionate, like I said with a fig. And uh, inspirational, I feel like this person has a lot of knowledge. To give to people and people get inspired when they speak it's like they mesmerize people so this person might be a professor here or someone a public speaker someone that talks a lot we have passion flower awareness and mystery yes this person uh, is mysterious the moon card speaking about mystery they might even be confused themselves and what they want here in their life and uh, the Hermit is speaking about awareness, so maybe they're soul searching right now to have more awareness, to really understand what they want in their life. Guidance and connection, maybe this is like a mentor for some, like I said, someone in your environment that you have a connection, not necessarily romantic. Insight and humility. So this person with this card might be shy, they might not really like to go out, they're very humble, they don't love to, how do I say this, to advertise themselves or to show themselves in an arrogant way, they're more on the low profile side, I would say. Dandelion, new opportunities, adaptability. Verbena, harmony and revitalization, this person, I told you guys, needs to heal. They are not uh, balanced right now. So perhaps ask again in the future. Okay, let's see. What else? It says take care of yourself. I will watch over you. 
you need some space in a relationship so like i said some of you might have broken up with this person that's why you're asking about them in this case uh, you might be no contact you might uh, need time apart for this person to heal first and uh, during this time both take care of yourselves to heal and to emerge like this person you know colorful and full of light because right now we have a lot of darkness so i definitely feel like some of you guys have asked about a, per a past person here about um, an ex and i'm seeing this uh, animal here it's like a buffalo right it's either Taurus or Aries, so take it as resonates here. It might apply to some. And we have the moon, and it says here I will watch over you. So this person is very watchful, like uh, this person, <laughs> again, doesn't trust anybody. They might be cynical right now. Like, uh, you know, leave me alone, a lone wolf here. Um, going through the dark night of the soul. Interesting. Okay, let's see what else. I asked last cards here, guys, if you can trust this person. So first card, we have Page of Pentacles. Then we have Eight of Cups. And the Death card. Again, confirmation, some of you have asked about an ex, about a person that you have left, or they left you. There was an ending here. And others of you, if you're asking about a new person, then I would say that you cannot really trust this person because they are not operating from their healed heart right now. They're operating with ego, with hurt. So I wouldn't really trust, although this person doesn't appear to be harmful. They are harmless, I feel, at heart, but they need to heal. Because if you give this chance to this person with the Page of Pentacles, you might regret it. They might make you feel um, unwanted, you know, and feelings that you don't deserve, and you might leave them eventually. The Eight of Cups and the, the Death card. And also we have these cards as an answer to the question if you can trust this person. I would say if you're asking if you can trust them as a person, yes. If you can trust them as a potential romantic uh, lover, I would say no, guys. And it says here, a magical protector is there for you. I feel this is your spirit guide that want to protect you. We also have here... The little owl in wisdom, as light as feather. So what I'm getting here, although this person might be old, their wisdom is not at, their <laughs> at its peak at this time. They need time. They need more time to integrate some stuff, to, you know, feel their pain. And, uh, you know, come better towards you or in general to other people. And then we have the Snake Princess, the Serpentine Path to Power. So I would say no, guys, do not trust this person romantically. It's not safe for you. Right. Number 33, significant. Number 42, might be significant, maybe this person is. Because here, guys, the snake, of course, is a sign of deceit. If it's your ex, uh, be careful because this person might even try to take revenge on you. I'm telling you, romantically don't trust this person. If it's a new person and you want to get to know them as a friend, then I would say they're harmless. Otherwise, uh, they might have resentment here for you. Okay, guys, so that was interesting, pile number three. Please don't ask about your exes. This is a crash reading, okay? Alright, so thank you so much guys. If you resonate, please give it a like, subscribe, reach out to me for a personal reading if you wish. For more info about your situation, I have the links in the description box in the comment section. Thank you very much, have a nice day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.